Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Sebastian Mays and Daniel Olivares. This is a game from Gibraltar Masters 2019. Sebastian Mays had white pieces and he started with e4. Daniel Olivares played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to c3, a6, knight from g to e2, d6, g3, the closed Sicilian. b5, expanding on the queen side. Bishop to g2, bishop to b7, white to move. d4, castling, and d3 are other popular moves, but this is a different battle plan. Back to our game. Sebastian Mays played d4. c takes on d4. Knight takes on d4. Knight to f6. And Sebastian Mays castled kingside. e6. Rook to e1. Black to move. Queen to c7 was played. The natural. Bishop to e7 has a downside. Then white plays e5. And if d takes on e5, bishop takes on b7. And if bishop takes on g2, then pawn takes knight. And after bishop takes on f6, king takes bishop. Black lost a piece. Back to our game. So we have queen to c7. A4, B4, attacking the knight. What is the best square for the knight? What would you do? Please pause and find the best square for the knight. Or the best move. What did you find? Knight to A2, knight to E2. That was a big surprise. Sebastian Mays played this awesome knight to D5 move. Attacking the queen. Pawn takes knight. E takes on d5, discover check. King to d8. For a sacrificed piece, white has a pawn plus the attack. Is that enough? The game continued. Bishop to g5, pinning the knight. Bishop to e7, unpinning. Knight to f5, attacking the bishop, defending. Knight takes on g7, but now rook to g8, attacking the knight and exiling the bishop on g5. What now? What would you do? Sebastian Mays played queen to d4, black to move, knight from b to d7. Let's take it back. If rook takes on g7, then bishop takes on f6, and black is in trouble. So Olivares played knight from b to d7, more protection to the knight on f6. White to move. How would you continue now? Sebastian Mays played rook takes on e7. Kaboom. The exchange sacrifice. King takes rook. What else? Knight to f5. Check. King to f8. Bishop takes on f6. Black to move. Rook to g6 was played. If knight takes on f6, queen takes on f6, a next move by white would be rook to e1, preventing the escape of the king and queen to h6, winning the game. That is why Olivares played rook to g6. Bishop to g7 check. King to e8. What if king goes to g8? Is that better? Then knight to e7, check, mate. So we have king to e8. And now white plays the obvious. And what is the obvious? The obvious is to bring more pieces in the game, placing the rook on the open file with check. Knight to e5, blocking. But white played the move and black resigned. And the move is, what would you do? Sebastian Mays played. Knight takes on d6 check. Black resigned in view of this continuation. Queen takes knight. Bishop takes on e5, attacking the queen. 
and if queen moves to a safe spot what is a safe spot to d7 then bishop to d6 discover check king to d8 queen to h8 check queen to e8 queen takes queen check mate such a firework behind a seemingly quite closed Sicilian variation. What do you think of this awesome game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.